I'm back in England. Yeah, so I'm back in England and um, one second. That's better. Um, it's a bit cold outside because it's Manchester and it's November. You guys have asked me to do a video addressing all the different questions you had about the storm video. I know it's taken a long time. I apologize. I, I need to stop procrastinating. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I'm bad at that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through the questions for you guys. Here we go. So, which ship was I on? I was on the Anthem of the Seas, which is a quantum class ship from Royal Caribbean. I'd been on that ship for one day. And uh, the next day we hit the song. So the ship is a quantum class ship. It was christened in 2015 in Southampton, England. And it was actually my second Royal Caribbean ship. I did a contract on the Brilliance of the Seas, first of all, then went on to the Anthem. And my second day was the Storm. The Anthem of the Seas is uh, based in New Jersey. Most of the time, it goes on to the Caribbean. It has been going to Cuba as well. Uh, I sadly missed out on going to Cuba, which is a bit sad. But you know, I've, I've been very, very lucky in going to the places I've been to, which we'll get into later. The ship holds about 4,180 guests. That's called double occupancy. Um, but actual maximum is 4,900. The crew, we have 1,500 crew on there and the crew are awesome. So, hey guys on the Anthem of the Seas. Hope you guys are well. So what do I do on the ship? Why was I there? I'm a singer and a guitar player. Songwriter and obviously photography and stuff I, I do as well. But my job is to play guitar and sing in the, the, the sort of British pubs on the cruise lines. I, I generally work for Royal Caribbean because they're the best company in the world in my opinion to do my job. They've been great to me and I've had a lot of good opportunities to see the world and they look after me really well. On top of that question as well, I have been asked a few times by you guys, which countries have I been to whilst I've been doing this job? And the answer is a lot, but I'm going to try we on here. So I've been to a lot of different places and that is one of the best parts of my job. It's amazing meeting all the people that I meet. Traveling is, is just phenomenal and it's such a good education. I think you learn a lot about yourself the more you travel. It's getting a bit warmer here though, so just give me one second. Perfect, thank you. Where did the storm take place? Well, where and when, we'll do them both together. It was the 7th of February, 2016. The ship was based in New Jersey at the time and we were traveling down to the Caribbean. So we're in our second day, we're just off the coast of North Carolina near Cape Hatteras, I believe it's pronounced. And it hit us pretty early in the morning, which leads me on to the next question. How long were we in the storm? We were in the storm for about 14 hours. Some parts were worse than others. We were facing into the wind quite a lot. There was a little bit of damage done to one of the azipods, as I'm sure you know, um, and a little bit of cosmetic damage around the ship, but nothing major, which is a testament to the construction quality of these ships. It's, it's just amazing what they can do now. Even though the ships are pretty high in the water, they, they deal with this stuff really well. So that's how long it was. It was quite a long time. Good job, <laughs> No. I was on deck three. On deck three, you have fairly big windows, as you can see. Uh, some of the decks above have balconies. We also have inside state rooms and on the huge ships, there are inside state rooms that look into parks and things, it's amazing. Um, but with my room, no, you can't, you can't open that window. You, you can't. Right. It's cold and it's wet outside. I feel like a bit of a change of scenery and then we'll get back to the next one. So, two secs. This feels better. You know what? I've got some suntan lotion. Let's go somewhere warmer. Miami.
I had a great time in Miami. It was amazing meeting new people from Royal Caribbean's media department, made some new friends and we created some awesome content out there. If you're from Miami, it's an awesome city that still has a lot of my money. Anyway, back to the questions. A lot of people have been saying that there's no way it could be 120 mile an hour winds and I don't know how you can come to that conclusion by actually looking at this video because I don't think it's very clear. On the ship there's a lot of very expensive fancy equipment. It's way more intelligent than I am. You have a TV channel that will show you the position of the ship. It will also tell you different bits of information like the speed and knots the ship is going and distance travelled and all that sort of stuff and it also shows the wind speed. On the front of the ship, we have a anemometer, a anemometer, a anemo, a anemo, a anemometer, a anemometer, a anemo. We have an anemometer on the front of the ship that gives you the wind speed basically to the bridge. This doesn't happen very often, but we do have certain things in place. So when it gets to a certain point and the sea state got too rough and we're moving too much, the captain made sure that everybody went back to their staterooms our cabins, crew and guests. We were kept updated by Tanoi and later on in the day they showed videos from the bridge with the crew director Abe, who's just had a kid, so congratulations Abe, and the captain. And uh, I think they did a fantastic job of keeping everybody informed and letting us know what was going on. And yeah, it was, it was very interesting to watch actually. I wish I recorded some of it, but I didn't. Were you scared? Um, yes and no. I personally hate flying. I stress out, uh, you know, when the plane whoop, doesn't work well for me. Gin and tonics are my savior on the airplanes, and I fly a lot. On the ship, so I'm generally fine. It was a little scary when we were listing for a long time, so we were just at a quite extreme angle. My friend Zach, who was in the video, he had on his phone an app which showed the degree that we were at. Felt a little bit like looking off the top of a tall building, looking down. Just feeling a vertigo almost. That wasn't a nice feeling. There's a few times when the ship would raise quite a lot and, and drop down, but I wasn't scared for my life or anything like that. The same way that when I fly, I don't like it. And when it's very turbulent, like my flight back from Miami was very turbulent all the way. I hated it and I hate the feeling and it stresses me out. I have full trust in the captain and the equipment. Uh, and like I think most people, because if you don't have full trust, none of us would get on a metal tube that hurtles through the air at 500 miles an hour. Not a fan, not a fan. So was I scared? Little bit, little bit. The free minibar really, really helped. My friend Zach came round and so we just chilled out and watched a lot of movies. Looked out the window, watched films. Looked out the window, watched films. Horror films, I love horror films, so we did that. Talking about Zach, a lot of people have asked me for Zach's phone number and different information. He's a very good looking guy, good friend of mine. Haven't seen him in a long time, so hey Zach. Here is his Instagram. If you want to follow him, please, please do. And for all the people that are asking for his phone number and details from me, you can now ask him directly. Sorry, man. So a lot of people thought that I faked it somehow, that the window was a huge television or even green screen. So it's all filmed on this. The iPhone 6S Plus, there's no color grading, there's no special effects. I did it on here on iMovie. It's amazing, it's a tiny little sensor. So yeah, that's it. I mean, I have the new iPhone 11 Pro Max now, which is awesome. But yeah, so that's all I had. If I did have a green screen, I don't even know how to use a green screen. But if I did, I would have added a shark or a sea monster or something like that. It's just to make it more interesting, to be honest. That's probably what I would have done. How did I promote the video to get so many views? I didn't. I put up the video just to show my friends and family. I had about five subscribers on YouTube. I didn't ever really use YouTube. I put the original video up during the storm and it was about 11 months later that I started getting emails and people asking me if they could license my video, if they could buy the video, if they could use the video. And so then I looked on YouTube because I hadn't looked at it, realized it had about 100,000 views, but it had some music on it. So I made another version without music on because I thought that would be better. And just before we get on to the final question, which is the big one about the money, we have one more. A lot of people have asked what it would be like below deck three and wish they could see it below deck three. And I can tell you exactly what it would be like dark. 
That's because the rooms that do have windows below deck three, it's mainly crew members below deck three. I think on some ships there might be some state rooms and stuff like that, but crew members below deck three. In deck two we have the medical center as well. Decks two, one, and, and below that we have crew cabins and laundries and engine rooms, all sorts of things. But the ones with windows, they're not actually windows, they're portholes, they're yay big. And they have very, very heavy porthole covers which you can lock. And when we have bad weather, officers will go around to the rooms and make sure that these are locked. And so you, you wouldn't have seen anything. So now onto the final question. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it a bit interesting rather than just talking. If you don't feel I've answered anything correctly or in depth, feel free to ask me any questions you want below. The amount is, are you ready? This. Now, it does fluctuate, however. So for example, this month I got $305. There's been a few times when it's been six, $700. There's been a few times when it's been $60. There are some people who will be thinking, wow, that's a lot of money. There are some other people who will be thinking, that is nothing for two and a half years. 15 million people have seen it now. Why is it so low? And I, I fall in between both thoughts. If somebody would have asked me a couple of years ago, what do you think 15 million views would get you on YouTube? I would have thought maybe 15,000 pounds, $20,000 or maybe, maybe a bit more than that. But it's half what I thought it would be. And the main reason for that is it's the amount of money that YouTube pays per thousand views. There's a specific amount of money and it varies from country to country and video to video. And this one is a very, very low amount per thousand views because it doesn't have any commercial interest. It's less than 10 minutes long, which is a magic number in YouTube land. And so, yeah, so it doesn't garner a great deal of money. You can monetize YouTube videos on your own via Google AdSense, which is what I'm doing for all my other videos, including this one. But with that video, I didn't know what I was doing at all and panicked and decided to go with this company called Jukin Media. It gave me a little bit of money upfront and also took the smallest percentage out of the other companies. And so even though the video is still mine, I still own it, they licensed it for me. So if you were to use my video or a clip of my video without permission from them, they will find you and they will make you pay. The payment isn't a lot, but that's what they're there for, to chase that up. I could have done it on my own. In hindsight, I sort of wish I had, but it is what it is. However, it's still $9,000 for nothing in many respects. I put this video up for my friends and family. I didn't put a lot of work into it apart from chopping up the footage on my phone. So I'm more than happy with everything I get for it. Even if it was only 10 pounds, I would have been happy with 10 pounds for nothing. But it's given me the opportunity to make this video and hopefully some other videos. There's a few things I've got in mind. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you on my next video. Thank you guys. See you later.